Stadia a fitting home to the giants of the world game, FC Barcelona. The teams then, Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Becker. Hi, Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Barcelona line up in a 4-4-2. It's a well-employed system that demands certainty from the white men. They have to forage and work back. reckon is pivotal well it's a tough one but I'll go for Danny Alves just to point out that he masquerades as a fullback you know he'll spend so much of the game deep in opposition territory playing like a winger tremendous fitness and athleticism and that enables him to uh Cavani that had everyone off their seats oh how close was that to going in it only required the smallest of tweaks Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Sergio Busquets. And it's Jordi Alba. Draxler, Cavani, plays it long, Neymar, oh, glorious footwork, hits one, and the follow-up, a oh, great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that, a difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Look, if ever there was a declaration of intent, we're watching it. Di Maria. Now it's Cavani. Looks like a good ball through. Di Maria. Cuts it back. Aimed long and direct. Now it's Luis Suarez. Now it's Messi. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. And Messi! Good stop. That wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Draxler, Neymar, Paris Saint-Germain couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Coutinho... Passes it, Luis Suarez! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Barcelona break the deadlock. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Neymar with a delicate ball. Cavani. He'll have a dip!
Iniesta brings the ball forward, looks to slip it through. Suarez could try cutting inside here. Luis Suarez with the cross. Di Maria. And it's Cavani. Over to the left. Neymar going full tilt down the left. Rakitic. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Now it's Luis Suarez. Coutinho with the ball through. He's in space and looking for options. Up for the header! Back of the net! And already they're looking to run away with it. Barcelona are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Barcelona take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Into the box. Too long and over the line. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Neymar. He's left his man. Beautifully done. Now it's Cavani. Can he score? And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Keeper has beaten it away. Danny Alves and the weighted pass. Could be a throw in. And it's Messi. Drexler spreads it towards the left. PK. Iniesta. Coutinho. That is a terrific run. And Messi! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Fantastic excitement towards the end of the half there, and a last-minute chance that really should have been converted. What's the first half compared with your expectation? Barcelona are two up, and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. And Barcelona in control at half-time, 2-0. Already up and running for the second half. Thiago Silva goes looking. Di Maria. And he's made sure that that won't get through. One shell pass, that's the message there. Forward it goes. Tries a through ball. Gets it upfield. Very well to intervene. Out to the left it goes. Hit long and direct. Ter Stegen will lay claim to that. Sergio Busquets. Now the pass. Ter Stegen catches it safely. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. 
Suarez did well to pick out Messi, but he couldn't do anything with it. Di Maria, now it's Cavani. Whistle goes, he's been given offside. Mm, I thought he might just get the benefit of any doubt then. Roberto. Barcelona haven't made a substitution yet. And it's Coutinho. Roberto. Huttling down that right flank. Chance to cross. Shapes the shoots. They are rampant. And the lead is extended still further. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Cavani... That intervention was very necessary. Sergio Busquets. Rakitic. Tries a through ball. Now can he finish? Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? And that has put pay to that. Messi. And he should have made it for... Messi certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. Oh, tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire a commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Di Maria. Goalkeeper's ball. Sergio Busquets. And it's Messi. Looks like a good ball through. Covarati, Di Maria, Cavani, has a hit, saved only by poor finishing. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Now it's Cavani, out wide to the right. Di Maria, going for goal! An awful miss. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. Rakitic, Messi. Oh, good interception. 
He's, th he's through. Luis Suarez! And tested the keeper. of headers and that is that Barcelona very much the dominant side almost the only side every time they got on the ball they look like scoring it is a landslide how would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Barcelona won thanks to a, a disciplined game plan. Homework provided the groundwork and it exploited an obvious central weakness. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.